in honor of the Halloween season, I thought I'd do something, something different. So, enjoy. So, you want to know about what, about what goes on here? I'll tell you. 300 years ago, long before you and I were alive, a small group of pilgrims lived in this very spot. They were hardworking. Decent group of people. Once in a while, they would enjoy a good laugh. It was one exception. William Hanover. He was a strange man. No one liked him. Also, was afraid of him. I mean, was it going to make jokes about William Hanover? Or even children had to watch their step on around him. Um, I wanted the truth of three and a four. Here comes Boogity out the door. Oh, Boogity, Boogity! Ah! The children called him Mr. Boogity. He lied and scary though. Boogity! Think it was a weirdo? Wow. The women outside of Lucifer Falls were hardly lighting up outside Mr. Boogity's doorstep. Ah, uh, who could blame them? Boogity, Boogity! So there was one exception. The lovely widow Marianne lived with her sweet little boy Jonathan. Oh, good sisters. Do you think he is all that bad? He tryeth. I'm sure he tries. I don't think so, Mother. There. There. Have her fell in love with Widow Marion. In fact, he wouldn't marry her. Think she wanted to? She turned him down. That wasn't the end of it. I mean, not hardly. Have her was way to anything. And I mean, anything. Win the hen, win the hen that would have married it. Um, um, um. After all, she was a man of great power and authority. He saw how he thinks his own way. Some people say he sold his soul to the devil that night. Sold his soul for a magic cloak. A cloak so powerful make him invincible. Close to a proper hope win the hand of Winnemarian. <laughs> More than anything, he wanted Marion. And so one day when Will Jonathan had a terrible cold and was on his way to the doctor, who should jump all the woods in his brand new magic cloak? Did you say Mr. Boogie? Right! And he took Jonathan back to his house. 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 He threatened Marion. She didn't marry him that very night. She would never, ever see Jonathan again. Just to be sure she went along with this, Mr. Boogie decided to cast his very first spell with Magic Cloak. Something happened. He blew up his own house. <laughs> he blew up his house. The whole house was paired. Ever since then, every single house was built in that spot. It was haunted. And, and, you wonder what happened to Mr. Boogity and Jonathan, Widow Marion? They all became ghosts. And still to this very day, Widow Marion is still trying to get her little boy Jonathan back. In fact, Jonathan still has his cold. Well, nobody ever said being a ghost was easy. If you ever saw Mr. Boogity, if you were smart, you were me. I move. So, what do you think? Pretty scary, huh? Pretty weird, huh? I hope you enjoyed the show.